Good morning, everybody. Sorry about the last video. It was me being an idiot. I tried to edit it because there's some confusion over certain aspects of, uh, well, everything, basically. And, uh, yeah, I deleted it off my phone because of space and uh, tried to edit it, and I I screwed it up. <laughs> Apologies, so the video is now gone. But uh, just to let you know, the transmitter is working fine. Uh, we've tested both the power modules. Um, only got one exciter working at the moment due to the crystal situation. Um, the exciters are very, very fussy about crystals. The modern crystals just don't seem to work in it okay. Um, I need a 4.032. I've ordered some more and hopefully to get this exciter working. And then we've got the backup basically. Um, got two power supplies. These are both working. So ev everything is all good. Um, Disconnected the battery charger to save on a bit of current. Uh, don't need that, but the transmitter can run on 48 volts, so fantastic. That's really good. Um, but yeah, the transmitter switches over. Um, backup is working as it should. Everything's working. So the next stage really is to get the exciters modified um, and to get the audio. The audio is just not coming through very well at all, and uh, so we need to do some work on that. But um, yeah, just to, just apologies about the videos gone, and uh, but everything was all okay. Uh, transmission was all okay. There was massive, massive amount of power loss on the antenna, as to be expected. It was a temporary antenna, uh, but never, nevertheless, we we were heard a hundred and fifty kilometers away on uh, on. I would estimate something of around about sixteen to twenty watts. Uh, that was that that was always going into the antenna. There was nothing much at all. Um, massive losses, but we knew, you know, we knew that we knew that was the situation. It was just a, a test of the transmitter to make sure everything was okay. But everything is absolutely working fine, and the transmitter is working wonderfully. So, yeah, it's not even uh, get, getting any heat or anything. It's it, it's just operating perfectly. So that's the situation. Um, next weekend, hopefully, I'll get the audio sorted out and uh, get everything working. So I'm working on that this week as much as possible in between work and family life and. Uh, try to get that sorted, that situation, so we can actually start the uh, test broadcast properly. So um, I'll let everyone know, because people really, really wanted to know, and uh, unfortunately the situation with the antenna, we we cannot get the decent antenna yet. It's I, I need help, and I don't think I'll get help for another couple of weeks yet. Um, there's been lightning storms. It, it's, it's been very, very dangerous to take down a large metal antenna, basically. Uh, the lightning is very, very close and very dangerous. So, um, you know, we we need to do it in safety and uh, the, t the time is not at the moment. So it will delay things a bit. But hopefully by September, I'll have the uh, decent antenna up and running. And uh, then the range will be uh, three to five hundred kilometers, if not more. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, just the, that was just a quick update. And uh I'll uh, update you again at the weekend if I, if I manage to get everything sorted in the exciter module and, and get that working properly as it should and get the audio coming through clear. I'll uh, I'll let you know in advance and we'll do a test transmission um, and I'll leave it on all weekend, hopefully. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.